Welcome back guys. Uh, we have talked, uh, we have solved several problems regarding surface area and volumes. But this is a problem that I found many a times coming in different exams. So I am uh, enlisting this problem. So this problem is a large cube is uh, formed from a material obtained by melting three small cubes of 3, 4 and 5 centimeter side. Okay, respectively. And what is the ratio of the total surface area of the smaller cube and the large cube? That's the question. Now, uh, let me tell you what is the scenario in this case. The scenario in this case is that we have a large cube. So, here I draw a large cube. Let's draw a large cube. So, this is a large, large cube, very large cube. And we get, we, we form this large cube from melting three small cubes. So let's say this is a small cube, just take this small cube, another small cube and let's say another very very small cube. So just melt this three small cube, by melting this small cube, right, we get some material, uh, whatever material it is made up with, then we form this large cube, right. And the side of the small cube, this one is, let's say, 3, this one is for 4, this one is for 5. And once people telling you the side of, a, whatever, the side of a small cube, because it's a square, uh, side means A, A for this one is 3, A for this one, second one, first one is 3, for second one is 4, A for third one is 5. So once they're telling you the side, they actually tell you everything about uh, solving this problem, right? So everything is provided here and you need to form this large one, right? So what we need to form, uh, after melting all these materials of the small cubes, we, ne we are having a material in our hand, the raw material to make the large cube. So what is the volume of these materials after melting three of the small cubes? So the volume of the large cube will be equals to the material melted after melting all of these small cubes and get the volume. So here it will be the volume of large cube. Volume of large cube will be equals to the volume of large cube will be equals to the addition or sum of the volume of the small cubes. So let's let's look at it. The volume of the small cube is very easy. We just have the side and we make a cube of the side. So it's 3 cube for the first place, then 4 cube because second one is having side of 4, then 5 cube, so not square, it should be cube in all this case. So we get the values like that. So ultimately we get 27, 64, 125. So ultimately here we get the value of, we get the value of 216. So this is uh, the volume, this this is the volume and this volume definitely will be in, so no unit is actually provided, so let's, no, let's assume is, let's assume this is as a centimeter, so centimeter cube, okay, so if this is the centimeter cube, so what is going to be the side of this large cube, because once you get the side, so what is the ratio of total surface area of small cubes and the large cube, so what they uh, want us from, they, they want us the ratio of surface area, right? And surface area for, for cubes, we know that 6a square, right? So normally that, that's the surface area, 6a square in that case, right? So that's, that's the way of getting the surface area. So let me write the, the question or the answer is the ratio of surface area. So surface area of large cube and surface area of small cube. So actually, actually the ratio will be surface area of small cube divided by surface area of large cube. Surface area of large cube. So it will be the value of here the surface area of l both of them. Surface area is actually 6a square. So how to get the surface area here? So we get the value 216 uh, centimeter cube here. So to get the surface area, both of them, we need to know the A. Now for smaller ones, we know the A uh, from the question. For the large one, we need to get the A value, right? So how to get the A value? We, we get the volume of, uh, of this large cube as 216 centimeter cube. So what is A? A equals to, obviously, it will be A cube normally is 216. So what is going to be the A? The A in this case definitely will be, uh, definitely will be 6, right? Because that's, that's how we get this value. So A is 6 centimeter here, A is 6 centimeter. So 
So once we get the a is 6 cm for large cube, so we get the large cube a, we get the small cube a. So that's our question. We need to form this ratio. So let, let me write it again. Surface area of small cubes divided by surface area of large cube and how to calculate them for large cube it is pr pretty easy because we simply have 6a square and here 6a square means normally 6 into a means 6 so 6 square so it will be just like this and in the top surface area of small cube will be calculated like 6 into so let me write it 6 into and the values here will be 3 square remember 6a square so a is 3 for the first one second one 4 4 square third one 5 5 square so that that will be it in this case right so here will be again this is again uh, this is again 6a square right this is again 6a square so just write it these things are not true just write it for for understanding sake so now let's do it now let's let's have it so 6 into we are having here uh, the answer is 9 plus 16 plus 25, 9 plus 16 plus 25 here and here we are having 216 right so so or, or let's let's not multiply it let's put it everything because that's what the tip I've talked to you before because we'll be doing everything at the end so just cut 6 out from here and what we get here we get here uh, 50 divided by 36 once we get this value let's now let's now do it for 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 218 for 25 so, so 25 by 18 that's that's the kind of value we, we are getting so what is the answer that we are getting so let's make it uh, for further rounds 25 by 18 and what's the answer 25 is to 18 we are having an answer of C so yes, the ratio of uh, the large uh, surface area of the smaller cubes and the large cube is 25 is to 18. And that's what the answers we actually get by here, right? The ratio here is 25 is to, sorry, need to, need to put this value better. 25 is to 18 is the correct answer. That's how we get the answer. But remember, this question is pretty easy because it's a question about cubes but if the question is different because people I have seen people giving this question differently different way so if, if they change it in different uh, kind of shapes you need to just use different formula but providing a cube the formula is pretty, plain, pretty of easy and you can do it pretty easily right so that's kind of thing that we need to follow and I hope that's helpful guys thank you